Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the newest information and sneak glances into the lives of your favorite characters. Corey Broadus, Snoop Dogg's 24-year-old daughter, is on the mend after having a stroke last week. Broadus updated her Instagram followers with a health update Wednesday, reporting that my CT scan of my chest came back normal in a since-expired Instagram story. She did not share any further information concerning her hospitalization. I'm going home today, I can probably cry only, she posted in her Instagram story. Thank you thank you for the continuous prayers, love etc. Broadus, who is the youngest of the rapper's four children, disclosed last week that she had suffered a stroke. In a since-expired Instagram story, she told her followers that she started breaking down crying when physicians described her situation. I'm only 24, what did I do in my past to deserve all of this? She added in another Instagram story. A week later, it seems things are looking good for Broadus, who provided a peek inside her homecoming home. On Wednesday, she tweeted a snapshot of a living area with a simple banner that stated, Welcome home. Early Thursday, Snoop Dogg shared wife Shant Brodus' Instagram post about Corey, the strongest person I know. In her message, Shant lauded her daughter, my warrior, my princess. The 52-year-old rapper also took the opportunity during the Tuesday premiere of his new film, The Underdogs, to speak about his daughter's health. In recent years, Corey, the chief executive of Chalk Factory Co. Makeup, has come up about her health, including coping with the autoimmune disease lupus. She was diagnosed when she was six. Corey Broadus claimed she had taken a holistic approach to her health, which includes giving up her prescriptions and doing everything natural. She told the magazine that she felt blessed and able to share her health experience with fans. Lupus is a chronic disease with no cure. According to the National Institutes of Health, the autoimmune condition is known to raise the risk of stroke. However, Broadus did not discuss whether the two were associated. I want to be okay, Broadus told people in September. You're not going to always be okay, and that's okay because we're human, but I want to be okay overall, mentally, physically, and we're going to get there.